hello my dear friends it's so good to have you here again thank you so much for always being here thank you for staying tuned to my channel and thank you for subscribing and also thank you for attracting new subscribers to my channel i am really very grateful and don't forget this is saffron media and we are in the business of giving you the latest the hottest most reliable and authentic news as it drops by the hour and right here and now we have another and it's saying that um, pastor bakari in a clash with um, bishop david Oyedeko about his um, utterance of saying why would government um, re allow the markets to be open and churches closed he has come to respond to that but before we bring you details of that news hey guys if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button and subscribe right away and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share this video all right guys let's go into the details of this news says pastor bakari bakari says there is no physical or social distancing in the holy spirit lockdown or no lockdown there is the general overseer of the citadel global community church formerly known as lateran as assembly Pastor Tunde Bakari has described some of Bishop Oyedepo's latest utterance as lamentations. Oyedepo of the Living Faith Church Worldwide recently criticized the decision of the government to open markets and leave places of worship closed. As one in a raft of precautionary measures to curb the spread of the coronavirus disease in Africa's most populous nation, he said for people to be allowed to be in the market for six hours and can be in church for two hours it's an upside down way of looking at things which is which one is more orderly the market or the church i can smell a rat the lord spoke to me so strongly yesterday i can smell a rat this is about how do we stop the church from exploding people that are involved don't know it too with a bled lamentation of certain people however in a broadcast shared by his church on sunday bakari called on other churches with multiple facilities to donate their buildings as isolation centers for the treatment of covid 19 patients rather than criticize the government for closing the churches the former vice presidential candidate announced that his church has donated its facilities to the Lagos state government while its private residence in Abiyokuta had been granted to the Ogun state government. He said, this morning I would like to bring ethical correction to some of the lamentations of certain people within the church over the ban of congregational worship in churches across the land. While markets and us hospitals are allowed to operate, Bakari said, without mentioning Oyedepo's by name. I am so glad that not only churches are prevented now from congregating, the mosques are also on lockdown. The government orders the government's order to open the market to operate for a few days is to prevent hunger, especially in the life of daily earners, because of palliatives from the government cannot go to every citizen in their homes right now those churches with multiple facilities rather than their leaders criticizing the government they should collaborate with them they must be prepared to offer some of their halls to governmental authorities as isolation centers in support of the efforts of the government bakari said bakari added that after all it was to the safe custody of the innkeeper that the good samaritan in the parable of the good samaritan kept the wounded man left for dead on the way to jericho he continued and said the innkeeper is the pastor the inn is the church the wounded man is the sick world and the two denarial are wages for two years because a day with the lord is like a thousand years i recommend it I recommend that our church halls be made available to the government as isolation centers and those of us who could afford it should be there to support the government 
I am not suggesting that we are not prepared to do. What we are not prepared to do, we have already done that in our church. We have offered two other facilities to the Lagos state government and the private residents in we have in Abiokuta, and we have offered also the Ogun state government. Brothers and sisters, we should all thank God that there is no distance in the spirit, lockdown or no lockdown, and that the church is not the building but the saints of God, that is the body of Christ. So if we cannot congregate because of the present lockdown, we can be very effective in our neighborhood as our brothers keepers and our various workplaces for those involved in essential services and others daily earners that are permitted for now to go about their trade or business for a few hours of the day. Deeply religious Nigeria is almost evenly split between a predominantly Christian South and a predominantly Muslim North. Nigeria has now recorded 4,399 confirmed cases of COVID-19 with 778 recoveries and 143 deaths. Lagos, Nigeria's most populous city and one where most of the nation's mega churches are headquartered, remains the epicenter of the outbreak in the country with 1,845 reported cases as of May 10, 2020. So that is it, guys. You've heard it all. Is um, Pastor Bakari making sense, or you think that uh, what um, Bishop Oyedepo said is more sensible? You can drop your comments in the comment section, and also don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for staying tuned. I really appreciate you. Do have a pleasant day. Bye.